Shalom. This week, Jews all over the world are reading Parshat Yitro. The Torah portion is from Exodus. And as we get to chapter 20, we read the Ten Commandments. I want to share something that I learned years ago in seminary. And I think people of all faiths will appreciate. And something we probably all badly need to think about from time to time, especially me. The Ten Commandments has one verse that almost everyone knows, but also that everyone could or should find somewhat troubling. In the Ten Commandments, we read, Lo tisa et shem Adonai Elohecha Lashav. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God falsely. Ki lo yinake et asher yisa et shmo lashav. For God will not forgive those who take his name falsely. That's a troubling phrase, at least for me. This is the only one of the Ten Commandments where God gives no quarter to a violator. God will not let that one go unpunished. That one's personal. Think about that. That's the worst one? Really? So let's see. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not commit adultery. No such condemnation for those. But taking God's name in vain falsely, that one I, God, will not forgive you. That doesn't sound right. Where is this God of love and mercy we all like to speak of? I mean, forget a vengeful God. This is a petty God. Why would God care what lowly human beings do with God's name? But I was taught, like a lot of passages, to read the Hebrew carefully. That commandment could be read that way, and maybe someone could give a better explanation than I could. But translate that phrase a little more strictly in the Hebrew, and you might find a whole different meaning. And speaking for me, one that I appreciate and need to hear. The actual Hebrew word, yisa which is usually translated as take, should be read carry. Carry. Now, using that translation, the sentence reads now differently. Do not carry the name of your God falsely, because God will not forgive the person who carries his name falsely. Now, that's a big difference. Because think about it. Who carries God's name? People who claim to be God's followers, who proudly declare that they are the loyalists to the Almighty. They carry his name, and people do identify them as part of God's team, if you will. So if that's the case, who carries that name falsely? Those same people who publicly carry that name and yet act falsely act in ways that desecrate the name of God through actions that are despicable, immoral, and cruel. Now that makes more sense to me. I can see why that would be so upsetting to God. Because followers who proudly claim to speak and carry the name of God and act in evil ways do more to draw people away from the Almighty. When people see religious people carriers of God's name, acting in ways that show a complete lack of love of their neighbors, intolerance of the stranger, hate for the different. Others see that and say, if that's religion, if that's what faith in God teaches, I want nothing to do with that. Conversely, people who carry God's name and live a life of goodness, kindness, and decency represent religion in the best way possible represent God in the best way possible, and draw others closer to God. My friends, I wear a yarmulke everywhere I go, but I do so with some fear and trepidation. Because when I wear this, I'm carrying God's name everywhere I go. And if I act in a less than charitable way, if I do something that hurts another person, I've not just dishonored my name, my family name, but the name of God, that yarmulke says, I proudly carry. I don't claim to be holier or better than anyone else. 
But I have to be honest that if I want to carry God's name publicly, I'd better be prepared to carry it in a noble way. And I pray that I always do. You don't need to be a believer in God to be a good person. But I guarantee you, when people see believers act in a kindly fashion, others are inspired and say, praise be that faith and the God who they worship. But trust me, when people that are believers act in ways that hurt others, and yes, tout themselves as followers, carrying his name, they dishonor their faith and the name of God they proudly want to carry for others to see. Now I can see why that would be upsetting to God. May we who want to carry the name of God prove, prove worthy of that honor by being a blessing to all who we encounter. May we be there for the poor, the powerless, the downtrodden, the tortured, providing for those who need an outstretched arm. By doing so, we will carry the name of God for a blessing. Shabbat Shalom.